Alright then, so, hello and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy VI Blindfolded LLG. In this episode, uh, well, it's gonna be broken up into three parts again. It's just easier that way. Just like before. In, in this episode, like the first part, I'm just gonna be going to... through Figaro, gonna get to Collingen, and I'll just stop there. So, it's not that really gonna be that earth-shattering in any way. Most of this stuff is stuff I should be familiar with from uh, an earlier segment, quite a while ago, but I have surprising longevity with remembering these roots. I thought I'd forget them half the time, but that appears not to be the case. Alright, I should be at the bottom now. Glad to see I'm moving, considering how much trouble I had with this uh, ages ago when I did it. And it's going to be an even longer time between the time the, the two videos aired, as opposed to the time between when I did the first part and then I did he this here. So... I don't need to ch check this time whether I'm in Figaro or not, because... I have a no-so-handy music change that should have happened the first time, but apparently it doesn't happen until you walk in the door properly, so... Whoops. Also, I don't have that guy getting in my way, but I do have a cutscene here. Fortunately, I can just mash my way through it and know when it's over by the door up here. Alright, just get up to the shopkeeper up here. I'll probably be wanting that drill. I, I just have a feeling. The strangest feeling. One, two, three, four, five. Don't even have to re memorize that number because I already know it. Now I've just got to walk straight out. Oops. It takes a lot longer for the overworld to load up than it does for the other maps to load up. Thankfully there is, really isn't anything to remember here either. Exiting just makes that so much easier. It's really easy to walk back in and uh, get back to the the guy who uh, goes underground. Of course this takes forever. So... There we go. Just three steps over there. Don't even have to be that exact. I could have probably just remembered, hold the button for a bit, and I would have been fine there. So yeah, the segment's... well, the mini-segment is pretty much over already, and it's barely just started. Of course, you're going to be seeing a little bit more action. Where I go through this fun, fun town. Well, see you in two seconds. Alright, time to continue. That didn't require a whole lot of preparation. Pulling Jen is a little bit annoying. There's a lot of NPCs in a crowded area, which is so similarly to the Returnus hideout, but not quite as bad. Thankfully, uh, when I'm going left and up, or down and right in most of these places, 
It seems to be that uh, the NPCs are actually likely that even though they'll get in my way reasonably often, uh, I'll end up somewhere reasonably predictable. So that's nice. Unless they decide to really go out of their way to troll me here. The one spot where I'm likely to get uber trolled is uh, taking one step to the left here. One, two, three. Or going up there, I suppose. That would be just as bad. Thankfully, restarts are quick. That's kind of why I put the save there. And I got lucky. Or rather, I should say, I didn't get unlucky. Three steps up to the bridge again. Gives you the same number to remember. It's the same on both sides. So now I just go straight across the bridge to the tree. Don't even really need to hit the tree. Now I just go down and right for a bit. I'll spend some extra time just in case the NPCs are trolling me here. But even though there's a good chance they'll knock me one step out of the way of where I was intending to go, uh, chances are also high that I'll be able to exit the exact same way. Because if you look at the riverbank here, it's sloped in just such a way that if I go left and down, I'll end up in the same place no matter where I ended up on the riverbank. Which ironically makes it much easier to exit the town by this tiny little bridge than to exit the town from that giant gaping slot in the side on the left side of the town. Alright, so that went nicely. Two for two. I make that three for three. Or maybe three strikes you're out, I don't know. But third time's also the charm, so I guess it kind of balances out. Alright, then let's finish this segment off. Same deal as last time. Mean NPCs, nice geography, which kind of makes it easy. Alright, so I probably made it next to this little bush here. And I presume there is a bush here on like that suit of armor in the Returnist hideout. Alright, so there's a good chance I landed into this little uh, slot here, which is nice because it lines me up directly with this little gap between the tree. Trying to get by the NPC otherwise would be a pain. Now I line myself up, up, up with this little tree here, which is just nicely placed for me. I mean, I suppose I could have walked down to an NPC there, but... There's only one walking around there, and it's relatively wide for coaling gin. So... Sort of similar to last time, I... Uh, in Narsh... Well, not really. The only real similarity is that I get an elixir in one segment. Okay, where's my door? That's not good. Well, what do I do? Hope this is Rachel's house? Oh, right, yeah. I forgot to take a step back. Dummy. Alright. We're good. Alright, there's a pot down here. Easy to remember that there's a pod there, so I can just walk around it. And now I can just exit the town. Through the gaping hole in the side I mentioned earlier. Alright. I never actually reset after that last segment, so... Alright, segment completely done. Three easy things.